Non-constituency MP Leong Man Wai has called for a budget of $1 million annually for a research department, which he says will help MPs scrutinize bills and policies. This was among suggestions brought up by Mr Leong during his adjournment motion on making Parliament a fairer arena for all. He also called for more time to be given to members for questions and for non-elected members to get an allowance to hire assistants. Elected MPs are provided with a monthly allowance of $1,300 to hire a legislative assistant and $500 for a secretarial assistant to assist them. I'm sure most members would agree with me that this is meagre and is completely insufficient to hire even one full-time assistant. Obviously, the government only wants MP to be supported by volunteers. Responding to Mr Leong, a leader of the House, Indrani Raja, said that both elected PAP and opposition MPs get the same allowance. Only leader of the opposition, Pritam Singh, is given more due to his expanded duties. I also wish to highlight that the Leader of the Opposition gets more resources than the PAP backbenchers and the PAP GPC chairpersons. However, this is fair, given his role. This is an example of how we review and adjust according to the circumstances. Mr Leung has called for a research department to support all MPs, costing $1 million for a start. His justification is that, and I quote, many MPs from both sides of the House do not come from a public policy or legal background and may require assistance to do such work. Close quotes. While many PAP MPs do not come from such backgrounds either, they are not asking for this. They have been able to work within the allowances currently allocated to them. They also often pool their LA allowances to hire full-time legislative and or secretarial assistants to support two or more MPs. They do not confine themselves to the legislative assistant allowance, but often also draw upon their MPs allowance to top up the sum.